Geometric and dynamic recoil are terms used to describe part of what happens to the escape wheel during the unlocking of the Swiss lever escapement. Knowing the reasons surrounding why this recoil occurs can help us understand part of how the watch operates dynamically. Let's get started with a couple of general facts. As we discuss the actions of the escapement, we'll be using the terms as indicated here. Feel free to pause the video if you would like to review these in further detail. Geometric and dynamic recoil occur because of the necessity of draw in the Swiss lever escapement. Draw is what allows run-to-banking to occur and is the reason the lever is drawn away from the roller table to the banking during normal operation. During a shock, draw will return the lever to the banking if the lever was displaced. The angle of draw results in the locking plane being inclined relative to the pallet arbor. When the escape wheel tooth presses on the locking plane, the pallet stone is drawn deeper into the escape wheel to the point of total lock. You can see the escape wheel going forward slightly as the pallet goes deeper into the escape wheel. The result of this angle and accompanying forward motion of the escape wheel is that the escape wheel will have to rotate backwards when the pallet is withdrawn from the escape wheel during unlocking. This results in both geometric and dynamic recoil. Unlocking of the Swiss lever escapement begins when the balance wheel strikes the fork slot on its descending arc and starts to lift the pallet out of the escape wheel. We can see here that the action causes the escape wheel to recoil. As discussed, this recoil occurs because of the angles of geometry of the escapement. Take note that while the escape wheel tooth and locking plane are in contact with each other, the amount the escape wheel recoils is the same regardless of how slow or fast the unlocking occurs. The escape wheel recoil that occurs when the pallet is list lifted from the point of total lock to the point where the locking beaks break contact is geometric recoil. In other words, geometric recoil is the backward motion of the escape wheel caused by the angle of the pallet stones and occurs during unlocking when the escape wheel tooth and the pallets are still engaged. Newton's first law of motion states that a body in motion tends to stay in motion. This also essentially describes momentum. Anything with a mass has a tendency to maintain its motion or velocity. The Swiss lever escapement is no exception. We mentioned that unlocking occurs when the balance wheel descends and lifts the pallet out of the escape wheel. What is occurring is an energy transfer from the balance to the pallet fork and from the pallet fork to the escape wheel. It's this energy that drives the escape wheel backwards. However, all that energy does not disappear immediately when geometric recoil is over. Some of the energy transferred from the balance during unlocking causes the escape wheel to accelerate backwards during geometric recoil. Going back to Newton's first law, this means the escape wheel will continue to move backwards after geometric recoil takes place. This continued backward motion is called dynamic recoil. Dynamic recoil is the continued backwards motion of the escape wheel that occurs after geometric recoil due to the escape wheel's momentum. That momentum is a result of the energy imparted to it during the geometric recoil and the mass of the escape wheel. Let's look at this all together then. As the balance strikes the fork slot on the descending arc, this is the beginning of the unlocking phase and also the start of geometric recoil when the pallet starts to lift out of the escape wheel. The escape wheel begins to recoil due to the angle of draw present in the locking planes of the pallet stones. Geometric recoil ends when the point where the locking beaks of the pallet and escape wheel to touch. The momentum of the escape wheel continues to keep it recoiling for a moment after the pallet and escape wheel to break contact. Together, geometric and dynamic recoil account for the backwards motion of the escape wheel that occurs during unlocking. Look for the next video that will show why this information is important while servicing the watch.